Hi Aquarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of April and I hope you're all well. Thank you very much my Cyber Angels uh, for sharing and liking and giving us the thumbs up for the videos that come out and thank you, I really do appreciate it and welcome to the new people and uh, please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified but for you and my cyber angels please notice that there are different options when you click on the bell so if you would like to be notified then click on all a double l and then you'll be notified we are in the new system as i told you last week but if you're new then you wouldn't know that so make sure that you have all your notifications on on all um, on your favorite channels otherwise you will not be getting notified because YouTube has got a new system okay I am going to <coughs> uh, you'll find information below this video and in this little circle here that will take you also to my website and there you have more information and ups uh, um, updates your first card is um, the fish and the fish means luck in business or in work and it is also number 34 and 34 becomes a 7 so luck 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 wow Aquarius and um, you might need it everybody needs a bit of luck now and again but know your boundaries because the fish also means that you don't know your boundaries and let make sure that you do and let others know what your boundaries are don't be the one that always says yes learn to say no and it also means that you can work well in groups now you have the king of wands and the king of wands could be either really the king of wands really represents uh, Aries but the king of wands also could represent uh, Leo or Sagittarius but the king is usually um, Aries then we've got Leo and Leo is the queen of wands and Sagittarius is the page of wands that's how it works but don't exclude um, the uh, Leo or Sagittarius Aquarius so you could be meeting a king of wands this is a person that is dynamic, that is passionate, um, he's very active and he's also creative and logical. If, this, if you are not meeting one of these people then it could be that you have fire in your char uh, chart and you have reached the status of the King of Wands as you are overactive, busy, 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 busy okay my darlings so perhaps you might be Aquarius uh, uh, Sun but Moon uh, um, Aries or a rising Aries it's very complicated you're not just a star a Sun sign you're also a moon sign and a rising sign I won't go into the common uh, cartomancy uh, issue uh, uh, too deep because I've got lots of different decks out there and cards okay and I like to chop and change as well as I like variation and that is the spice of life in some cases not all cases especially not in relationships not for me uh, you've got number 24 so that is six you're back in balance and you've got the heart from the Lenaman so that means you are meeting somebody and having a new passion or you are uh, meeting somebody and it, this could be a fully f a full fledged uh, relationship because there you love this person uh, or you you have fallen in love with this person but know your boundaries and their boundaries because otherwise passion is not, doesn't last as long as a real love relationship but so know what your boundaries are and know what their boundaries are especially with a fire sign 
there are celebrations. So I, f I forgot to mention the tea leaf card on this side and you've got the torch. Somebody might be carrying a torch for you. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness and understanding. Perhaps you're becoming aware that passion doesn't last. Perhaps they are aware that you are there and look at this, you've got the heart. You've got the heart on the king of fire, the king of wands, uh, sorry, on the torch. So he, the, the king of uh, wands and Aries uh, foremost might be carrying a torch or you might be carrying a torch for them. There will be celebrations. This is beautiful. You've got the angel feather on the sunrise. And the sunrise is new creative ideas, new friendships, a fresh start. Wow, and the angels might have given you this fresh start with this fire sign. Like I said, if you are not meeting a fire sign, then you could be the person that is having new ideas, creativity. Here you are, new creative ideas, new ventures, work, new projects. The angels have heard your prayer. You are doing something that you're passionate. Perhaps you're forming a partnership in business with a fire sign and you are celebrating because you're opening up for business. You are balanced though, but uh, luck is also on your side because on Friday you have the snake and this is a warning. Make sure that when you're signing contracts, um, be careful, there might be a snake in the grass. So look at the small print and you've got seven, you've been forewarned. So luck is on your side, you are aware. Again, we've got a king, we've got the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles is the uh, uh, Capricorn I think uh, king of pentacles um, as he is, look at the uh, horns here so that's the king of pentacles he's got the Midas touch everything you touch will turn to gold just don't exclude um, Taurus or uh, Virgo either here because they are the earth signs so you might be forming up with a fire uh, uh, coming together forming a partnership with a fire sign or an earth sign but whatever you do it will touch the gold because this king knows how to invest and you've got the dice here so you can take a gamble you can take a gamble because you know uh, what you want definitely and you're going to go for it because you're in action and you are uh, you have reached the stage of the king obviously if you're not meeting uh, a king either or besides that you have restate you have reached the stage of maturity you know how to invest you've learned the hard way you will play a di uh, you will be playing a different role now perhaps perhaps you might be more experienced because you know how to invest if you're partnering up with somebody uh, you might even uh, be the ha head of the family instead of the eldest son I just you know the, um, I don't know you know what it resonates to but you can play a, you might uh, you can play a different role but there could be a but to it because the snake is lying above your head but you can take the gamble that is what the dice means but be aware because there is a warning here okay take your wisdom <coughs> with uh, from the past that you've gathered take that as a warning and use it to your advantage. Don't make problems where there aren't because you've got the mountain here. You are seeing obstacles, so just be warned. 
and if you, it doesn't feel safe listen to your intuition you don't have to hurry 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 because the king of pentacles doesn't he takes it as it comes steady and slowly or slowly and steadily like this little fairy she's walking she's not climbing the mountain there will be an unexpected change because something was not built on a proper foundation and this could be in a past relationship but you've learned from it and one door closes 20 will open and don't worry because everything you touch will turn to gold as you've got the king of pentacles you are ready you see the difficulties you've learned from difficulties okay and we've got the dog here so the dog could be literally a dog or that um, a, a pet will come into uh, the family or that you are taking on a dog um, that is also enriches your life as company you can go for a walk you might see it as a problem because you have to work all day but you will find a solution to have hire somebody in to let the dog out or a dog service you name it something in the past wasn't built on proper foundations you've learned from that um, but you couldn't make a decision um, as to what you wanted to do shall I take the dog shall I not take the dog but the dog could also mean a, f a, a loyal friendship like the dog in the Lenaman okay and I rather take that meaning in this scenario because we've got um, uh, we've got partnership coming out big time getting together knowing how to um, also work so I think it's more a business reading a work reading than a relationship reading okay then we have the carriage a journey either physical or mental and like I said you've learned from the past and that is the mental journey you are the come you have become the king you've got the wisdom you can accept changes they don't scare you anymore because you know how to invest and you take your time to sort out the little nitty-gritty so you know how to take a gamble and when to take a gamble and when not to take a gamble now uh, the bottom of the deck you have the wheel of fortune what goes round comes round what goes up must come down you might go up a level in a relationship this could be in a partnership in a love uh, in work or it could be in love you will be playing a different role yes you are no longer the apprentice you are fully fledged and qualified to do what you need to do because you are the king you're not the page or the knight or the queen you've got the status of the king so you've got the experience you've got the talent and you've got the wisdom you might move home uh, your business might extend uh, you might uh, uh, be promoted if you haven't got your own business um, you might be traveling for business you might go on holiday something is coming to an end and there is a beautiful new beginning and you will be receiving news or a visitor or you might be going on a visit like I said you might be traveling for business okay and that is the overall energy and also number one a new beginning but you'll definitely get news as you have the rider for surrender card is surrender to your full power your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small and you are full power because you've become the king wow beautiful stand in your own strength my darling be engaged in now yes be engaged means not being engaged although we've got the heart here and celebrations so but it means be aware more aware of what's happening around you now 
thinking about where you've been or what you did wrong in the past are impediments to the ins to an inspired life. When you're inspired, you are totally engaged in the now, in an infinite, never beginning and never ending universe. There is no past. Be engaged in the now. Awesome. Everything goes full circle. Alright. Enjoy the moment of now. You have been uh, in the past, you've been um, an apprentice, and you've learned. You've come full circle. Boom. You can deal with big, unexpected changes. You can take the gamble. You know the divine and the angels are are with you. You're never alone. And your heart is in what you do. <laughs>